Hi, this is TSG Multimedia's Dan Cortapassi, and today I'm reviewing an HO Scale 1012 Pullman Sleeper Kit by Branchline. As you can see, these models have quite a few parts. Um, I'm not sure if these are currently in production. I know Branchline is no longer in the uh, model train car business. They still have structures. I believe Atlas took over their uh, car production, and I don't know if Atlas has released these. If they do, they probably release them as ready-to-run models, but you can still find the um, kits on eBay uh, pretty often, and I'm reviewing it in case anyone is wondering what is involved with one of these things. As you can see, there's quite a few parts. This is the essential structure of the car right here, the floor and the ends, and then you have to separately apply the sides, the roof, the ends here, the outside ends, and then you also build things like the steps and all of the underbody detail, and there's some interior uh, this is part of the interior. There's some other partitioning for the interior. It comes with uh, coupler mounts and uh, everything. And it also comes with uh, metal wheels. Now, one of the criticisms of this kit that I have is you have to actually assemble the trucks from parts. Right here, the side frames need to be put together and the wheels put in them. And I've built a couple of these cars and I've actually had a little uh, some issues with uh, tracking. Um, where they didn't quite want to stay on the track very well. So that may be something uh, to think about if you're considering one of these cars. Uh, might be worth looking into some aftermarket trucks even to uh, replace those with. The kit also includes a metal weight, which I didn't put out just because there isn't a lot of room left on the table, but uh, they do include one. And you could always add more weight if you wanted to, although with the interior, you kind of have to be a little bit creative about how you do that. So this is what one of the cars looks like built. Obviously, this is not the same car because that was a Rio Grande car that I was showing a minute ago, and this is a Southern Pacific. But it's the same model, the 1012 Sleeper. And uh, it's got really good detail and does a very good job of capturing the look of these cars. So aside from the KD58 couplers and a bit of weathering, this car was built straight out of the box. So pretty much all the parts you see on it come in the kit. Uh, it includes all the hoses on the ends, the diaphragms, and the uncoupling levers. So this shows all the underbody detail and if I remember correctly when I built this kit there were a few options for different things you could include or leave off depending on if you were modeling a particular car. Um, but as you can see there's a lot of parts, a lot of brake detail and other details for the you know air conditioning and other pieces of equipment. So overall, these are really nice cars. Aside from the uh, tracking issues with the trucks, um, I would recommend them for anyone who needs a steam era type car for their passenger trains.